How's it going, everybody? It's Lucas Shaley with Casey Pier and Kansas City Property Guys, and today we're actually out in Kansas City, Kansas. Going to be looking at a house that has a little bit of a different story to it because it involves Casey Pier as well as Kansas City Property Guys. Casey Pier is going to be doing the foundation side of it, while Kansas City Property Guys is going to be rehabbing the full inside of the house so we can get this ready for a rental. So, lucky for us, we got Eric Shaley, the president of Casey Pier and Kansas City Property Guys, here on site today, and he's going to explain the outside. And we also have Brian DeFore, our director of operations for Casey Pier, down in the basement, and he's going to give you the lowdown on the inside. So. Let's do this, guys. Hard work, work. Hard work, work. Hard work, that's what they say. Hard work, work. Hard work, I earn my pay. Hard work, work. Hard work, do it every day. Hard work, work. I get up about a quarter to three. Hard work, work. Hard to go and earn my pay. Hard work, work. Put my boots on and lace them up. Hard work, work. Got another day to work. Hard work, work. Hard work. That's what they say. Hey, today we're out in uh, Kansas City, Kansas, and we're working on a Casey Property Guys house with Casey Pier, and we happen to have the whole crew out here together. So we're gonna be going over some of the Casey Pier work right now. I'm gonna take the exterior side, and then Brian, our uh, project manager, is actually inside, is gonna walk, at, walk through some of the inside work uh, today as well. But this particular house has really hard negative grade from the road heading directly into the house and so we've been taking on quite a bit of water and so the KC property guys I'm sorry the KC Pier guys were here yesterday and have dug this exterior drain system in that's three and a half foot deep that gets us below the footer and the reason we put this in is to help keep the dirt away from the interior drain that Brian and the guys are actually installing right now. And so this is a three and a half foot exterior drain that wraps to negative grade around the corner. And we've also taken a lot of dirt from this particular drain system and we've created positive grade around the house as well, which we're gonna show you. And so we're gonna head inside and take a look at why we put this particular drain in and again, we're just simply there as a precautionary to capture the first round of water coming off of that street, trying to keep the interior drain nice and clean so it can function to its full capacity. And we're doing this, again, in conjunction with uh, Casey Property Guys as they rehab this particular property and we get it ready for uh, a, a rental. And so uh, let's, let's head inside and take a look at what Brian and the guys are doing. And now we're inside and what we're doing is we're taking extra precaution of what uh, Eric went over outside with the French drain system is we're putting an interior drain system in a pump um, just in case of the mass floods that we get and since the crawl space was dug down we wanted to make sure that we got all the water taken care of all the way through and what we did over here is something a little different is instead of moving the hot water tank we put in a grate drain in front of it so that way there's no extra expense to the homeowner to move the hot water tank and put it back so we're trying to save them some money and still take care of all the issues at once Hard work. 